All these um, noise bursts are created with nothing but a very, very sh small sample and effects. So it's not a natural recording, it's a pure artificial structure. The aim of these things is to create something which works similar to how echoes build up in natural reverb. And this special kind of reverb was intended to simulate thunders. Um, there's one single track, this one, and it contains one very short impulse. There's a lot of sands, and in each sand um, there is an EQ, a grain delay, and the erosion doesn't do anything, forget the utility, and a compressor. And this is pretty much the same in all these sands. You can see that the sands itself are feeding back each other. So you have a signal going into one sand, through the effects, going back to the other sands. It's like a huge matrix of sands. That's the result. That was the first. You see the first signal here? Puck. And then you got the, the feedback here. And you see it's building up to something noisier. And um, if I record this result and feed the result back into this network again, like what I did here, just have a longer recording and put it in here. It's getting closer to some thunderstorm kind of things. If I put in a longer recording, gets even closer. Um, I did, a, and if I change the settings here, like the, the grain delay time, the filtering, all these things, I got different kinds of uh, um, thunder hits. It's, I'm a little bit addicted to these effects. As soon as I start working with them, um, I can't stop. We can put in anything, put in a bass drum and see what this kind of thunder thing does with the bass drum. <laughs> As you can see. Actually, the bass drum sounds pretty good for... It's really a bass drum, nothing else. And that's the bass drum with the effects. So let's change the effects. Um, like, for instance, pitch up the grains and we get a very bizarre variation of this thunder thing. <laughs> 